Hi guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes YouTube videos and today the video I'm going to be showing you is how to make some little cute ant cake toppers and this was one I did over on my Facebook page so this is a shorter version of that one for you. So I'm just starting with some black modeling paste. Now I'm using the Saracino modeling paste and I'm actually adding some CMC to it because it was really hot weather when I was doing this so everything was getting very warm and sticky. Usually I wouldn't have to add the CMC to this. I'm going to start with the ball and I'm going to push in slightly to change the shape a bit the top either side. I'm going to press in with my fingers for the eyes. And later in the video I'm going to show you a different way to make the face as well and then you can decide which way you prefer. I'm just using this pointy end tool to create the eye sockets. You could use something like a tool handle though if you don't have this tool that's absolutely fine. And also the size of the eyes is up to you. You could go fairly small or fairly big. Let's put a small mouth in there. I'm just starting with a little line at the side and then let's just pull that across a little bit. Just using my Dresden tool here. What I'll do is I'll put links to all the tools and the equipment, everything I've used below the video. I do sell most of the things that I use in the shop guys. Obviously you don't have to buy them from my shop but they are there uh, if you want them. So I'm just opening the mouth up a little bit. I think he's looking cute already. And we're just going to put some little holes in the top of the head, ready for when his little antennas go on later. If that's what those parts are called, I'm not sure what they're called. So we just want a small bit of paste now. Let's make some tiny little miniature sort of carrot shapes. We're going to bend them slightly and we're going to leave these to one side so that they set a little bit harder and they'll be what goes in as these little antennas later on. But let's put a bit more of a fold in them. So for the bottom end of the body, we want to take a piece of paste. I'm going to go for one that's a little bit smaller than the head, I don't want it bigger than the head. And I'm going to make it more of a sort of teardrop shape. I'm going to roll a smaller ball and that will go above the body. And then what we're going to do is fill the eye sockets with some paste. So this one I think we'll make him so he's winking maybe, so we'll fill one with black, one with white. I've just swapped the side that is black so that if he's winking it's going to the side he's smiling towards. You'll see I've now got another head as well, that's just got bigger eyes but it's made exactly the same way. Let's put a tiny little dot of black in the eye. Now you can use your edible black pens or your edible black powder colours mixed with rejuvenator spirit or clear alcohol for this. Let's just put a little line across the closed eye for the wink. Okay. Put a tiny highlight of white in there. Usually I use a white pen for this. I didn't have a white pen to hand in the live so I just went with a small ball of modeling paste instead. And in this one, we'll do exactly the same thing, only it's larger eyes, so it's a larger ball of white that's going into each eye socket. And guys, if you want to see the longer version of this video, it is still available to watch over on my Facebook page. So when I do the live version, it is much longer, and then we put the shorter versions on here for you guys to watch. So I'm gonna put a little disc of black in each eye. I'm going a little bit bigger this time with the eyes being bigger. And then we're going to put a highlight of white in again. I've done it bigger again on this one. And I think on this one we've probably got space to add a second little smaller dot as well. Which do you prefer it with smaller or larger eyes? Now just while I'm making this, I'm going to push it into some spare polystyrene just to hold it upright while I'm working on it. You can then once it's set, replace it and stick it on a cake rather than the polystyrene. So I'm just starting to pile together those pieces I've made. So the teardrop at the bottom, then a small circle, a small ball, and then the head. Then you're going to take those little antennas that you made earlier and they're just going to drop into the holes on the top of the head. Now you can just add a bit of water or edible glue in those holes just to help them stick. Mine still feel a bit soft at this point so I'm going to take them out and add them back in later. Let's work on some little legs. So we're just going to roll some little thin sausage shapes of paste. Let's bend them over for the little feet. And then let's put bend in for the knee. And you're gonna need six of these guys. I'm just gonna push them against the body. Just add a bit of water where you want them to go. This one has got a crack in, in his head. I'm afraid that's because I put too, too much CMC uh, into the paste, which caused it to crack a little bit. So like I say, with this paste, you don't normally need to use CMC. Uh, it's just that it was really hot weather on the day of this Facebook Live. So have a bit of a play around with the positioning of the arms or legs. Maybe one on his hip. 
If you only want to add four, that's okay. It's just very cartoony, so I think you could probably get away with four, but I'm going to add six to mine. So let's put one coming up to his face and another one on his hip. Let's try those little antennas again. There we go, that's one version. So last time we made one, it was in a lighter color. So I just want to show you so you can see the difference. And I had smaller eyes. I don't know which ones you guys prefer. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. And then I wanted to have a go with a different style of body. So I made this one here that's been firming up. So let's do another one so you can see. You can do them in all different sizes as well, guys. So we're gonna start with a the teardrop. Then at the fat end of the teardrop, we're also gonna thin it out a bit. And then we're gonna put a line all the way around slightly higher than halfway up and then above that another line again so it looks like the body's in segments even though it's not and let's just try and bend that upwards a little bit now this time for the head we're going to go for a slightly different shape so it's, it looks like a different style so we're going for a bit of a teardrop and the pointy end is going to be like his nose area to the bottom of the face and then up near the top of the face we're going to add some eye sockets this time i'm using a balling tool so it's a little bit bigger and you can go really quite big with these if you want. And then we still want some little holes for the little antennas to go into. So I made a few of these in different sizes. The antennas, you're just gonna make exactly the same as we did before. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water into each eye socket, just so that the eyeballs don't fall out of this one because these sockets are not quite as deep. So I've rolled a ball of paste that I think is gonna fit in that eye socket. And I'm just going to push it down so it's a little bit flatter. I don't want it to stick out from the side of the face too much. Do the same on both sides. Just going to add a little bit of water where we're going to stick the pupil. And the pupil's going to go in just like it did on the smaller eyes where it's just a big disc of black. Now you can use a round cutter for this. I just rolled the ball and squashed it flat to create the disc shape. But you can use a cutter if you want a slightly neater circle. If you want to add some colour, you can do an iris in a nice bright colour. I've got like a turquoise edible pen here. I'll put links to what I'm using below the video for you guys. So just going around the outer edge of the black. And you can take some of the colour back off with a slightly damp brush if you want it a little bit lighter in any areas. So I'm just trying to lighten it a little bit so it looks darker on the very outer edge and then a little bit lighter as it's nearer to the black pupil. Let's add a highlight of white. And let's add a second one. Going quite big for them in these ones with the eyes being big. Which do you prefer with the blue around for the iris or without? Now let's see what this one looks like with eyelashes. So just roll in a thin little piece of modeling paste and we're going to stick that across the top edge of the eye and we're going to try and flick it out a little bit just at that outer edge and we're going to do the same on both eyes. I'll just make this eye match with the other one. And let's just push a skewer through the body now. We don't want it to come out of the front so push quite close to the back on this one. Again we can push this into some polystyrene at first so that it has a nice stable base while it's setting. Stick in these little antennas and let's push the head onto there. And what I'm actually going to do is I've got some spare little antennas that I've made so I'm going to stick those on for the legs and see what they look like this time as legs. So they're a bit smaller than the legs on the other guy but I think that's okay. Let's add a little bit of pink blush so I'm just using some pink edible powder for the cheeks. I think it was the rose uh, rainbow dust one that I had to hand here. The Kitchenos pink and the claret in fractal ones are also quite nice pinks to use for this. Excuse all the mess in my background. So I do give more legs to this one off camera. Which do you prefer? The one with the bigger eyes with the blue around or do you prefer the other one, the first one we made in the video? I'd love to hear which your favourites are. And don't forget if you have a go at making them guys, do tag me on uh, social media so I can see what you've made. I do like to see your creations. If you want to see the longer version, the live version of this, you can pop over to my Facebook page, So Is Fancy Cakes, and see the full version there. I'm going to be doing another Facebook Live. If you do want to watch the Facebook Live, that will be next week on Tuesday, 10 a.m. Uh, that's the 26th of July, 2022, if you're watching before that date. 
where we'll be making a ladybird because we're going to make a series of these videos with little insects I think and we'll try and do them as Facebook lives each week and then we'll make a shortened version to put on here. Thanks for watching! If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.